Thanks for tuning in. Season three, episode two. This is going to be a little bit different. You know, I'm a huge advocate of dogs being in tip top shape. I feel that the dogs are an extension of their owners. If the dog is in shape, the owner's in shape. If the dog's not in shape, the owner's not in shape. Here, we're going to demonstrate the best ways, if you have access to it, to give the dog the best form of exercise where it's not going to be harmful on his hips, his joints, all that stuff, right? And guess what? Even in the summertime, where it's 90, 100 degrees, guess what? The dog won't even overheat, because guess why? We're going to be doing some swimming today. Now, remember this. Most dogs, except a couple of species, a couple of breeds, know how to actually swim genetically. And one of those are is the Labrador Retriever. They have webbed feet designed for swimming. But you put a regular dog there, guess what? He's gonna sink to the bottom like a rock. Here at Laddie Coopers, we're gonna go actually to see my dog who came here afraid of the water. Now he's an expert in the water where he was being, he was using a life jacket for beginner swimming. Now he's using no life jacket and he's launching eight feet into the pool. Now remember this, this is all dogs are not gonna be able to do this, but I think this is the best form of exercise for any dog whether he's young or small or old and tall. Let's do it. Cool. Good to on, see man. you, man. Good to see you. Hey, we at it again. Yes, sir. All right, people, this is Latimer Cooper. We call him Laddie in the streets, but this is Cooper K9 legally, but we, you're going to follow him on Instagram right here at King of the White Dobermans. All right, Laddie, what are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to get Harry in the pool. He's a pointer mix and he is three months old and it took me two tries two sessions to get him to swim uh when it's 100 degrees like this uh, you how, old is, how old is the dog he's three months old maybe three months and a three and a half maybe yeah. is this a request that the owners are no asking for? I, I, I decided to throw that in okay because they asked me to work on some obedience and i told them the dog is too early for obedience it's not really good to make a dog this young have to concentrate very hard. So I said, just work on name recognition, potty training. But while you're gone, I could probably teach him how to swim. We used to run our dogs in parks, but we would get there before people would show up. And all the only people who were there were like the homeless people, and they knew us by first name. Right. So we would run the dogs in the parks. I'm talking about five, six of them. And the other lab named Sadie, what was her uh, name? Gracie. Lucy? Gracie. Gracie. Yeah. Gracie was a lab that would start running before he threw yeah, the ball. Yeah, she would outsmart all the dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She would get a head start. You, you gigabyte gangsters tell us, well, we should go to parks, we should go to dog parks. No dog parks. Run a, no, 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 we don't do that here. We in L.A. We're not in Montana. We're not in God's country, okay? We can't do that here. We'll get a ticket as long as our arm. Yeah. So what we do now, which to me I think is more, uh, much better for the dogs, is less stress on the dog's joints and hips, on their spine, their necks, and guess what? They don't overheat. They don't overheat. And so, it's good for their abdominal muscles. Right. And, and remember this, people. Dogs do not sweat. They don't perspire. They pant, right? So this right here, they can do this all day long as long as they want to. When they're out in the streets and they're running and walking, they have to stop at some point. You have to cool them down. But here, today, Laddie's going to teach us how he teach dogs who do not genetically know how to swim or inherently know how to swim. He's gonna show us how he teaches dogs how to swim. And to a point where the dogs become an expert swimmer. So we got a three month old puppy here that Laddie's boarding and training for obedience, et cetera. And I think this is great that we're doing this versus taking the dogs to walk. Watch the dog's demeanor when the dog comes out of the pool. Does the dog stay in drive? Is the dog in play drive or prey drive? So you'll watch Harry, he comes out of the pool, he's a pretty happy dog. Is it, is it much better when a dog has some kind of ball drive it to helps. teach them how to swim? It helps. Beginners, do we put life vests I on I do, them? I have a life vest to fit every dog. Okay. And I start off with that and I help them to glide and then I pull them. And when they, at first when they're splashing in the water, that's not when you praise the dog. When the dog, when the dog starts gliding smoothly, that's when you praise the dog. He still needs a little momentum so I'm gonna shove him in to give him the momentum and, and, and if his owners keep it up in a couple of months he'll be strong enough that if he falls in so if he fell straight in right now 
he may be out of luck because he's not strong enough yet. But with the, with the momentum, he'll swim to the edge. It's important to teach your dog where the steps are. The dog has to learn where the steps are. Uh, just the life vest right here. Yeah, these are the different life vests right here. And we put the dog in the pool and we pull the dog. And then we praise the dog. Oh, when the dog, oh yeah, like I, I said, when the dog starts gliding, then we start to praise the dog. And then you can see when the dog starts to enjoy it is when you drop the toy in front of the dog. And if the dog grabs the toy, that means he's in drive. And then now, then you got something to work with. Throwing the toy in the water, and once he gets the hang of the uh, of uh, swimming, then he'll jump in the pool for the toy. He'll, it's just, it's like, it's fetch. It's just fetch in the water. The, the old school way we will learn how to swim is that they throw us in the pool. <laughs> we don't do that for dogs here. It's cruel. It's inhumane. Oh my God! We use vests for vest. beginners. Harry. Good boy, Harry. Good boy. Come on, Harry. Good boy. Harry, come on. Then I call him. Good boy, Harry. Good boy, man. Good boy, Harry. Good boy, man. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Can you make it? Good boy. Now, he's only three and a half months old. Yeah, here we go, Harry. Ah. Good boy, Harry. Good boy, man. Good boy. There we go. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, man. Come on. Good boy. Wagging his tail and he's looking for, uh, See, he's not affected, he's not sad, he's not running, he's not scared, he's wagging his tail and he's, he's going about his business. Good boy, Harry. Now, at some Good point boy. when he likes to toy that much, Good boy. you're gonna be able to throw it in the throw water the and he goes water. after Exactly, when he gets a little older. Come on, Harry. Good boy. Come on. That's a he serious dog pedal. Come on. Come on, Harry. Come on. Come on, Harry. Harry likes the jacuzzi portion. Yeah, come on, Harry. Good boy. Voila. At some point, the dog is going to be able to um, jump in the pool without any assistance, and the toy is going to be his motivation to go after. He's familiar with this element, and he realized that nothing is hurtful or harmful is going to happen to him. Actually, getting in the pool for him is going to be refreshing. So now, what are we doing next? Well, I'm going to bring out Jones. Jones. He's eight years old, and... He's an albino? He's Doberman. an albino, and he actually has cancer. So his running days are over, but I ran him every day, and you just can't stop. He wants to, he wants to get his exercise, so I'm going to let him out. When I say he's king of the white Dobermans, this is all he deals with. He's going to show you how eloquent this dog swims. And he's been doing this to this dog or for this dog or with this dog since the dog was a puppy. So since he's older and he's got some joint problems and some health issues, uh, and he can't run like he used to in the day, so this is uh, Jonesy, good boy. Good boy. See, he kind of falls in, but he still stays in drive. Does he, dr he never jumps no more? Uh, he, not as much as he used to. Okay. Not as much as he used to. Uh, it, it hurts his joints a little bit. You can see he's swimming a little weaker. You can see he's a little older in the joints. But he still enjoys it. Good boy, man. Now, Laddie, for people who want to uh, get in contact with you on getting their dog exercised, where it's not in an open park, can you take clients to teach their dog how to swim? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Yeah. You can talk with, touch with me on Instagram or... Good boy. Also, people, if you guys are looking for... Good boy. Um, ...instructors for canine good citizenship, uh, CGC, CGCAs, and any kind of AKC oh certificate. He's an actual certified AKC uh, instructor for AKC. I know it's kind of hard. These dogs are barking. They don't want to respect me while I'm talking on the mic, okay? But the reason why they're acting a the fool is because they see the tug, and they got drive, and they want to be a part of the action. As I stated before, Brutus is a, is a Rottweiler. He didn't know how to swim. I mean, I think infant babies know how to swim better than him. Laddie showed me the progression. He sent me videos, photos of him wearing the vest and pulling him along the pool to the point now his prey drive kicked in and he would just jump airborne for this tug. And that's why they was acting the fool because Brutus know what time of day it is. Boom! Okay. Go! Go! Good boy. Good boy. Good, Good boy, boy, Broody. Good boy. Yeah. Bro. Good boy, Brutus. Come on, here you go. Uh, Broody. Oh, now he wants to climb. <laughs> he's running from me now. Yeah, he's Voila. Coming,
Look at that face. Come on, Brutus. Come on, come on. Good boy, Broody. Out. 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 Good boy, Brutus. That's what you gotta do. You gotta throw <laughs> one to the other. Good boy. <sighs> You Good saw boy, he kicked man. he kicked off the side Good of the boy, wall. Like this is what it's all about, tail. people. <laughs> that tail's a rudder. His tail is that rudder. That's Good why boy. I didn't get rid of the tail. Good boy. Out, Brutus. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Broody. He looked dead in my face, like, okay, and he's pushing off the wall. Good boy. And remember, people. He's not Good overheating. Boy. Hey, yeah. He can do this all day long. Good boy. Now, at some point, he's going to stop. But yeah, guess what? Yeah. Unlike running him in the park or on the treadmill, he can do this for 40 minutes right now. Good boy. People, it don't, it don't get no better than this one. You know your dog is loving this. He's, actually, the dog is smiling. He don't consider this work. Actually, it makes his digestive system move a lot faster because oh, yeah. typically he will poop yeah, yeah, giant after 10 or 12 yeah. minutes. So that means he's Out. working his intestines, working his organs. He's looking up better than this, man. He's doing bad. Who? Guess who came late? Leo. He's on CPT time, right? And he's. I thought he was off duty cop. Wesley, Wesley Snipes style right here. I thought he was off duty cop with the fanny pack. They still sell, <laughs> they still wear fanny packs around here? But look what he got right here, some Frenchies. So Leo, you know, tell what colors he got? What are they called? We got we got Isabella's right here. This is a Isabella boy, Kerry Fluffy. And this one right here is a it's a female. She's a fawn, four months, right? Yeah. yeah. She's staying in California. But you're saying that somewhere. she carries that. Uh, she carries Fluffy and possibly Isabella too. So she can produce this kind of color right okay. here. But she is not this color. What is Merle? Merle is the one with the spots. Okay. Yeah. They're good swimmers, guys. They just, we just not going to test it today. Don't believe everything you listen on the internet. <laughs> Leo does monkeys, too. I monkeys, don't know if you know tigers, that. Monkeys, tigers, whatever you got, whatever y'all need. Lions, tigers, and bears now. Have Giraffes, too. Hey, they they yeah. just got me updated. They, get, they can yeah. get, you, See? Know, you can show up with a lion right in front of your house. Ding dong. You know what I mean? So, with the licenses and everything. Yeah, just y'all know, we doing, I've been doing Frenchies, too, as well. One of my passion, too, you know? I know a lot of things about them, about the DNA, blood, and uh, uh, how they look like, how they're supposed to look like. We got the hairless too. Now the thing is, yeah, there's a lot of judgmental people, but let me tell you something, you know what I mean? People don't, 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 don't judge, you know? Please don't judge how we, you know, French is a whole different ball game, you know? We don't want to get into that, uh, uh, who is right and who is wrong, you know? Because if we go way back to the beginning, all the dogs are mixed. They're all made from something else. That's Slim Shady right here at Delonzi. Okay, how old is he now? He's about eight Nine? months. Eight okay. months. Yeah. Gotta make sure. Eight months now. He's getting tall. He's, he's getting, getting big. tall. He's gonna be a tall. Eight months. I think he's. We, we got. We up to something on this one. Look at the head, huh? We're back at it. Leo brought his uh, his new boy. What is his name now? Slim. Slim. Slim Delonzi. This is a third name he had now. So <laughs> I hope this one. Hopefully this one stays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And we was gonna put Slim in the pool. But he's got his beautiful ears wrapped. Wrapped up. And right, and they're, and they're tight. The reason we're trying to say this, guys, to you, because we know that Dobies do hate water. Oh, my God. We they, they don't one drop of rain outside and they'll be in the house. They'll be hiding up. And I think Gerald, they're the, 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 the hardest dog to teach him how to be around water. Now, I, you know, hey, more power than Letty. I don't know how he does it. That's what we're here for. You know what I mean? I want to hear that. The dogs that I've had in the past, they will chase the water. They'll bite the water, sure. yeah. but they won't, they don't like getting baths. Even that sometimes, you know, they're like terrified of something of water. Like, I'm not sure what's going on. Now, ask me, laddie, I know you have Barry Manilow back yeah, there. Yeah, I have. Uh, but why, why is he's not a pool dog now? He just can't relax in the water. He runs on adrenaline and uh, he's a pretty hyper dog and all my other dogs, they get in the water and they relax and they and they and they glide and they and they stroke. He he fights and he fights and he fights and so I just can't get. Sitting, you and I just even I could sit in there with him and hold him. He just. But you be just, sitting in the backyard and stuff, and then all of a sudden the dog will go by itself in the pool. No, if I throw the toy. Uh, I if I throw the toy, and uh, most of them are going except right. for him. Now Gerald's dog, 
if you just let him out, Ronnie, he'll jump in. The and he's only been swimming for yeah. just what, three weeks now? Yeah. Three well, weeks, I taught yeah. him when he was four months old. Yeah. And then when he brought him back a couple of weeks ago, I'm like, oh gosh, he's 100 pounds now. I sure hope he remembers because a 100 pound Rottweiler doesn't want to get in the pool. Well, I heard what that's like, the, like, I guess the first step to do something like that, it's like to hold, kind of hold them when they're puppies and kind of. Well, that's the thing. What Laddie water, does, I'm because not... he's not getting in the pool to show his body on TV. I don't know why. <laughs> I know he's all cut up and stuff. Wes is not his but, body. Yeah, but, stuff, yeah. The re but what he does, I think, is better because he puts the life vest on yeah. and it comforts the dog a little yeah. bit more. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like having and a then blanket. They stay up level. Yes. They, they can't sink like that. And then as they get but comfortable I, in the vest at, where they're level. But I see you know, people throwing them in the pool. Just yeah, like, they give them a little momentum. I did that fun. with a, I, I got a three month old dog. But Joe says they'll sink that. on the bottom though. And well, that's if you give them the momentum. Right, but see, understand yeah. that he's been doing this with this puppy for a right. minute now. So this puppy knows Just a that, week. Yeah. Just a week. But if you do it enough, and, and the dogs are smart enough to let their um, mechanics kick in. Yeah, absolutely. The tail right. automatically becomes a rudder. Yes. You know, so from to keep my the understanding, if they don't know how to swim, you throw the dog in there, they will sink on the bottom? They go straight up uh -huh. like this, and they fight, uh -huh. and then they go down. They yeah. have to level off uh -huh. and glide. Okay. And even some of them can swim but be making a big splash. Sloppy That's not good. Okay. You want all the legs under the water. Uh -huh. You don't want to, no splash. Right, right. Just smooth sailing under the water. And when they panic and they go like this, then they sink. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and 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 all it takes a little water to swallow. Oh Horses yeah, so that's what it, to te <laughs> teach it. You got to get them leveled off, get them gliding, oh. and then of course you got to show them where the steps are. And how he you does know? that too, I think he uh, he drags them with a with a leash. Yeah, he's a long line along the along line. the pool area, mm -hmm. along the edges. So now the dog realizes, okay. Um, nothing's the harness gonna happen or the leash? To me. I put him on a harness. No, I got a, a life vest, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And we and we toss them in, and when they start to do this, then we walk faster to get them gliding. Mm -hmm. We make them glide. Mm -hmm. And then as they start gliding, that's when we praise the dog. Mm -hmm. And then the dog realizes he's not getting hurt. Mm -hmm. Then when they get comfortable with it, lower. then I throw the toy in front. And then if he grabs the toy, that means he's still in drive. Right. Then I can take the vest off and throw the toy. And then they jump in to get and the toy. And how long this one would take you? Like, let's say <clears throat> somebody brings you a dog, never been in the water. It depends on the dog, the but it, uh, Gerald's dog only took a couple of tries. It was okay. uh, after the uh, what the do you think about time. Dobies? You know, Dobies don't like water, <laughs> yeah. So then you, it, depends. it would be it probably depends. longer, yeah. Huh? I may need two people was, yeah. if, they, if they're resisting that much. Do you but need one or two as well? Uh, you can just do it, it as long as I have a, a, another person, uh -huh. and as long as the dog won't get scared and bite me. I and, uh, think that's the reason why Leo showed up late because uh -huh. I said you may have to get in the pool with him. <laughs> Can you swim, dog? No, I can't. Bro, I'm both born in Croatia. I know. You, you know how to ice ski or probably yeah. but a snowboard. No, but no, I can, can you swim? I can swim. Okay, I'm just making a show now. Swim. Has there been a time where you let the dogs out in the backyard, the ones that can get along with each other, one falls in the pool, and then you look back like, oh, shit. Yeah, all the time. And then well, they, they can, can all a, get give out. A, give me a, a uh, situation. just running around. Everybody falls in the pool every now and then, but everybody can get out. They can either swim to the edge and Barry, who doesn't like to swim, he's strong enough to pull well, himself out. They'll probably, they'll remember the stairs. You yeah, that's stairs, important. I, where the steps are very important. Yeah. That's what because you got to show the young dog. Them, I see, exactly. I see the they'll hang onto the and edge, to, and they and grab they the tired. side, and then they get tired, right. and then they it's, fall in. Yep, it's important to show them where the steps are. So once you get the dog in, you got to run to the stairs and praise the dog. Good dog, good dog, good dog. And then bring him. And even with the puppy, I'll help if he if he if he can't get up. But pretty soon they have to know where the stairs are. And understand this, people. We live in a metropolitan city. We don't have community pools and gated communities where we could th uh, put animals in there. That's a no-no. If you have, a, if you own a house here in LA and you have a pool, that is a plus, plus, plus. If somebody wanted to come to you and do a board and train, not only do you teach a dog how to swim, which is really important, right? Yeah. But do you do obedience training sure, for dogs? I, I do the good citizen. You do good citizen? I prepare citizen. the dog for the CGC, the canine good citizenships, which is so you actually do um, one-on-ones and you would do a group session if you had to. Sure, absolutely. So understand this, people. AKC, um, he's an AKC ins instructor. Well, he does CG. I think I've got my CGCs. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If somebody wanted to come to you and they wanted swimming lessons for their dog, do you recommend board and train or do you recommend that they well, be it depends with on, I would prefer that they're there with me. To stay right You know, here. yeah, okay. get, to, to help give their dog confidence. And you have the whole setup? And yeah, I got everything. Do? Life vest for any size dog. Uh, I got all the proper lines. But it's better if if I mean, the mother or the father. Or, yeah, if, if oh. they, it's better for the owner to encourage the dog yeah. than me. 
You know, it's gonna mean more to the dog. Yeah, you know I mean, because in the land, you know, yeah, you I'm, bring the, them I'm a stranger. Right here, stuck I'm in a stranger. Mommy yeah. or daddy are giving the praise. They really let the dog let the dog know he's doing the right thing. Right. It goes a long way. I think. Know? I, I beg to differ. Let me tell you why. Summer school and regular school, when we was in high school, if we failed a class and we had to take it in summer, we're in class eight hours because yeah. that, that particular class really is only 30 minutes during the school year right. every other day, right. right? Summer school is taking all those hours that we would stretch over a five-month period and put it in a 30-day period, yeah. right? Yeah. So for me, is if I want my dog to get the best of training, maximize my personal time, mm -hmm. I do board and train. Because now Laddie's gonna do this, um, teaching a dog how to swim probably twice or three times a day twice versus, a day. versus yeah. that one session, which is 45 minutes to an hour. And what's the other session takes like 30 to 40? Until the minutes? dog gets tired, I, I keep an eye on the dog. Because I, yeah, that's what some people are saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they're trying to keep them short. Like some trainers, yeah, you look at the they won't do like time. 20. Apparently, dobies get really like a attention deficit syndrome. Yeah. But 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 at the same time, remember now, obedience training. Hot in the yeah, pool. Obedience That's training is different. This water is comforting for the dog. Yeah. The water is right. right. They're not using no no um no weight of their body. They're not using no stress on the joints. Nothing. Only thing is, they're using a lot of cardio. But the temperature is staying at a level where they will not overheat. Right. And that's the beauty behind swimming. Every dog that I've seen that is an avid swimmer, they're physically fit. Every dog. Absolutely. But explain to me so people can know this too, because we have to talk about the anatomy. We have to talk about the the after effects of swimming. I've noticed this, and Laddie can he can he can agree to this. Every time dogs have swim excessively throughout that day, that digestive system's working overtime, and they end up pooping when they get out of the pool. Do you understand I, what? I think that's good for their digestive yes. system. They usually have a really big poop from working the abdominal muscles while they're swimming. Yeah. You know, they're, they're going and turning yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gotta be good for them. It's good for, you know, it's always good to have a big elimination. Or a yeah, the bowel elimination. Yeah, yeah. How about the water? Like, is it, is it a matter if it's cold or warm? Does it, or well, uh, like, our temperature is 98.6. Like, no, but how, a, how a dog's temperature is 103. So they, they're warmer than us. A human's temperature is 98.6. A dog's temperature is 102 or 103. Right. So they're not, they don't feel cold like we do. Right. So even if it's cold and the, if it was winter time and you put the dog in the pool and the water's really cold, it's not the same as for us. Right. You know, right. They, they, they run they hotter than us. Yeah, more, they run hotter cold. than us. They can handle yeah. better. Yeah. And they don't perspire. Yeah. Perspiration for humans, we're, we're trying to cool our te body temperature down. Right. right? Um, I, I like the fact that the new sport now for Dobies that I've seen, some of Alonzo kids have done them. What's that? Dock diving. Oh, okay. Research dock diving. We got a little image right here. Mm. I love doing that right there. Where they're teaching a dog, they're getting judged and graded on how far of a distance the dog can sure. jump before he lands in the water. It's yeah. almost like long jumping. Okay. Oh, yeah. Some yeah. of those dogs yeah. are going 18, 20 feet. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the one benefit that Dobermans have over yeah, other ridge. dogs other than whippets or greyhounds that we're part greyhound yeah. right so speed is our that's speed. Is our yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. right and the, it's almost like taking off at a short jetway yeah the, the the more speed you take off boom you get up in the air quicker right yeah right? speed plus thrust equals lift so when that dog runs and then he pushes off that's the thrust mm -hmm. and that's what takes him up into the air when when uh, brutus is pushing off you missed it he was he, he oh, yeah. was almost was jumping across my oh, yeah. oh my god yeah oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He, he's advanced he, he's jumping over he's six a, feet high. yeah oh yeah 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 i never seen a rottweiler that big uh that like athletic that in a pool before but i told i'm not it. saying they're not out there i've never seen a rottweiler a hundred pound rottweiler as so comfortable in the water in drive and and a little bit of kind of dog diving he's not catching it in you know, dog diving the toy is in the air and the dog has to leap and then catch it i said laddie this, I said, Brutus is the is the son of Puma Von Wilden Western. Look him up right here. Got a picture of him right here. And he's an IPG3 dog, right? But one thing I noticed about from this, where? Where is where is it? Where is he from? Out of um, Serbia. Serbia. Okay. So I was I was I was telling him. I said, mm -hmm. uh, Brutus is much different than most Roddies. Not saying that he's perfect. He's perfect for me. Right? Right, 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 and I said he's very athletic and he's shifty as hell. Mm. Unlike 
larger Roddies, you know, you can you can you can he's pretty big though. You, you can judge the momentum, but yeah, but he's very athletic. Yeah, yeah. So when Laddie was telling me that he was going airborne like almost six feet just like just over the pool, like I was like, I could believe that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, he's really taking off. Some sometimes when he when it's just perfect, sometimes they jump in the lake, slips, and it's nothing. But when when he's when all four legs are, you know, he can really uh, he can get, get out, out there. there. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah they got yeah. some good shots and some good video of him. Every puppy. I think he should be exposed, he or she should be exposed to um, the pool. The, the thing is, yes, you're right, but the yes. pool, but it's not like, how do you, you know, you know Dog Beach, we made a video about so you that, know, you see what I mean? But, like but here, a, so here's yeah, the deal. Right. So, um, Lewis Williams, a black mass kennel, mm -hmm. <clears throat> has, I've been a part of his club for over 14 years. Mm -hmm. I go on and off. But when we did, when we were going from park to park, we went to a park in Compton. Compton. It's Magic a man-made lake, right? It's a lake in this park. Mm -hmm. So what, what Lewis would do, he would have two 30-foot leashes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes it 60. Yeah. He would have Leonard hold the Doberman, which mm -hmm. is uh, Musa. Because mm -hmm. the pool is, the lake is, is no more than about 60 feet wide. Right? I mean, in certain areas, it gets smaller and it gets wider and wider, right? Sure. So we would get to the part where right, yeah. somebody can hold the dog from one side of the lake to the other, right? Okay. The smallest right. narrow part. So inherently, Dobies don't want to swim, right. right? So what Leonard would do is hold the dog, Laddie would have the line on the other end of the lake, mm -hmm. and pull him in the water. Uh -huh. yeah. So now the dog is not really knowing how to swim, but with that yeah. momentum pulling, he's, pulling, he's right, getting yeah. the hang. Like, uh, okay, as yeah. long as I keep kicking, yeah. keep he's gonna him up. paddle. He's gonna paddle. I'm yes. staying. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm staying yeah. on top of the and water. I'm not drowning. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not advocating going into lakes because mo I mean, not lakes. Mostly lakes and ponds in these parks. They be tripping on the ducks and crap like that. Right. But if you want to get away with it, get there early enough in the morning. Right. Make sure you have somebody with you, mm -hmm. and you hold them and you pull them in. Because to speak on that though, there is a because of the heat, there's an algae growing in some of these natural bodies of water that's killing dogs. There's like a fungus. I saw a lady was, she had her border like a border collar. bacteria, like a bacteria? Yeah, yeah, it's like a bacteria, it's a fungus that's growing in some of the uh, warm, uh, because of the heat, and it's killing dogs. That's crazy. And it, 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 it almost looks like warblers. I saw a lady that I used to follow on Instagram, she would throw the ball with her border collie in this pond, and she threw the ball with her dog and she put him back in the car, then she smelled poop. So she knew something was wrong, so she rushed to the vet and as she pulled into the parking lot, her dog died. And her Just veterinarian quick, told her because quick, of the heat and quick. these heat waves, it's making some sort of algae bloom or some sort of fungus that can be very detrimental to dog's health. That so quick. be careful. So if you have a friend with a swimming pool, that's healthier than some of these uh, wild Lakes bodies of water, uh, you know, uh, because of the heat. Especially you know? in LA, to be honest. You know, I would be, uh, I took my, I like taking my dogs to the Malibu Lagoon, right up there by uh, where it goes, PCH goes right over it. Oh yeah, and, I, uh, I know where You can PCH. park in the uh, back by the, yeah. by there's a big gym back there right. and I could throw the ball. I got many videos of my dog swimming out in this lagoon. One day I took Jones and as he splashed in the water, hundreds of dead fish floated up top and I hurried up and got him out of there. And I was like, wow, what killed all those fish? I don't yeah. want it to kill my dog. Right. So you got to be careful Where in the you heat. Where are you taking it? You know, heat, yeah. So even, in, in, you know, the winter's better, but. Uh, well, we were talking yesterday with um, the, the life we did um, on, on Facebook and Instagram. With Ben Actually, White. That's a dis yeah, that, that's a vintage he have. I mean, you living in a country. Yeah. It's a different when you live in a country. Now, when you live in a big city, <laughs> we're in a whole different level right here. No matter where we go, no matter what kind of lake you get. You got to take what you can get. Stuff, you gotta take you gotta what take you can you get, get and stuff, and you know. Yeah. And then how do you, you know, like yeah. how do you pick it which one yeah, is sure. what? You know. Yeah, now this 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 folks like like this guy. I mean, he lives in the nature, like you know, in the boonies and stuff. Yeah. And you know, it's all nothing but nature, right? Yeah. There, you know, everything is clean, green. Who is that? That massive lakes. guy. Yeah. yeah. What's his name? Ben White. Yeah. I want to conclude this series of how to teach a dog how to swim. I want you to click the subscribe button but also hit that bell, that notification. So when we putting stuff online, you are the first one to know about it. In the meantime, I want to appreciate Latimer in quotations, Laddie Cooper for allowing us to come here and get his pool dirty. But well, thanks also, for having me. 
No problem. But I also want to thank, you. thank Leo mm -hmm. for coming here late with his police fanny pack on. <laughs> and he's still wearing windbreakers. I'm not, I'm not, listen, dude, this dude well, is stuck in the 90s, man. man. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a OG right here, okay? You know what I mean? I still yeah. believe in that old style, you know? But anyway, appreciate you guys for watching us. Next episode is going to always be cracking it on fire. And as always, we keep it spicy. Yeah.